Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here to do a quick tag video. It's very simple. It's called the one luxury bag or only luxury bag I've never thought about selling. And I thought this was really original and really simple, lovely tag created by Tabby Violet. Um, thank you for tagging me. I'll link her video down below if I remember. Um, and when I watched her video and i was i didn't even know she tagged me then because it was just the, t the who she tagged was in the description box i just really enjoyed the video and i was thinking what would i pick and it was just so easy i knew straight away what bag popped into my head so without further ado this is the only bag that i have literally it's never crossed my mind for a split second to part with this bag and i am someone who reevaluates and sells things that don't work for me all the time well, not all the time, kind of in like bursts. And I've never thought of selling this. So just to clarify, because bags look funny sizes on screen and stuff. This is the Chanel medium large classic flap, double flap in black caviar leather with gold hardware. It's the full on yellowy gold hardware, not champagne. It's just the most classic version of the Chanel classic handbag, in my opinion, out of all of them, the size, the leather and hardware thing for me is what I always saw when I was maybe seeing women walk around or in films whatever that I kind of wanted and I remember getting a jumbo first because it was more practical for my lifestyle it still is as a day bag but this is just like this has got almost the least use out of this is not a commonly or regularly used handbag for me I know it's an everyday bag for loads of women, but I'm not petite and I'm particularly heavy set in the shoulders and the upper arms. So for me, this isn't like a bag that is comfortable to throw on my shoulder or just like wear to go out and about because I'm such a cross body or top handle person. So in a way, for someone who sells bags that don't really work out for them, you think this would have at least got near the chopping block, but it never has because it's just a treasure like fine jewellery or something you know a, a heel that you only wear to a party it's just really beautiful and my it, that old is such a cliche but it does excite me it does make my heart sing when I get it out for a date night well whatever that is I can't remember um or going out somewhere and it's non-fashion it's just a classic forever um it's light and comfortable compared to like the jumbo it, it's just to me it's just so pretty it's a really good one. I know the leather varies each sort of season or batch. This is like quite soft and supple for caviar leather. I just still love it. And I do, when I wear it, I feel burgundy on the inside. I just feel special. Um, and I wanted to keep this for a long time. And I think, you know, a lot of people who, you know, influencers and stuff or people who collect designer items will talk about cost per wear and that you're investing not as a financial investment but you're investing in your wardrobe for the long term I definitely like would include this in that but a lot of people are like yep get a coat get winter boots get a bag that you will wear in season after season after season and that you will wear like he in heavy rotation for me this isn't heavy rotation but it is something I want to keep for the long term um, as I said, it, it's, it doesn't hold a lot, I've, but I'm into mini bags. It's not really the capacity. It's the strap length that makes it a special occasion bag for me because I can't cross body it. And I am, I do wear it, especially in the summer, long like that. But in the, but things just fall off my shoulder. I do tend to just have it like that and I hold it like a big top handle. Or I've also been known to use the little clip inside to make like... um make like a little top handle like that and then a shoulder strap I've shown you that before and I really like it like that so I do find ways to make this work but it, it feels so special that I don't want to throw it around when I'm with my kids and that kind of thing so this is a special occasion bag and you would think that if you're reevaluating your collection and thinking oh I might sell this so that I get something I wear more you would think this would have been on the chopping block but it just never has because it just it's my favorite bag it's I always say that it's my prettiest bag it's my most special bag I will never part with it I had a Chanel reissue that I bought after I bought this one and the turning point for me way before I actually ever sold that bag was that I was going to the Ivy with a friend for lunch and I had 
you know, I'm very casual, but I had dressed up for me for the daytime. I had nice makeup on, jewellery, whatever, and um, a nice outfit. And I was looking at this bag and the reissue and I just wanted to take this one. It just felt more special. And I had this sinking feeling that like, I knew really that I wasn't in love with the reissue. I still, I'm not completely sure why, but that's why, you know, and I did end up selling that bag. So I do with most of my bags, maybe, you know, after a certain amount of time, I think, do I love that? And if it's just not been worn that much, I do think, should I just let that one go? Because I don't like my collection to get too big. You know that I don't have a lot of storage space. Anyway, but this one I've never thought about selling. It's just, it's just beautiful and special. I will never sell it and I have never thought for one second about selling it. And at the prices they are now, sometimes I see people selling all their classics to get really current like it bags and I worry, you know, you do you, but I sometimes worry that it's a mistake because in five years they might look back and think that was a real classic and it's going to cost me twice the amount to replace it now. So this is staying. Anyway, I love you all. Thanks for watching. I'm not going to tag anyone specific. If you watch this and you enjoyed it and you'd like to do it, please go ahead and do it. I tag everybody. But I think um, the first couple of people who've done it have tagged so many people, all the people I know. So yeah, if you watch this and you think, oh, I'd like to do that one, have a go. I just don't want to list a few people and then leave anyone else out. So um, yeah, have a great weekend, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.